chaos struck as a tornado caused chaos in a Texas Walmart parking lot. Terrifying footage reveals a man urgently warning shoppers. He urgently warned about the approaching danger. The tornado's fury is captured by Walmart employee James Watson, who bravely documented the storm. Amid the chaos, a woman shares harrowing images of bleeding legs, a poignant reminder of the tornado's impact. Oh my god, a car! Run, 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 run! In Sherwood Shores, tragedy struck as a 73-year-old lost her life. Multiple twisters wreaked havoc across Texas, leaving a trail of destruction and injuries. Everybody go, go, go! Stay away from the window! In a bustling mall, a young boy stands amidst TVs for sale, seemingly disorganized and behaving oddly. The onlookers are puzzled, questioning if he has a mental issue or is dealing with autism. His hands weave and shake, causing chaos as he drops and damages each TV in front of him. Attempts to control him unfold, leaving us in suspense about the events that led to this moment, the reasons behind his actions, and what unfolded before he took his stand. The unravelling mystery keeps us on the edge, eager to understand the enigma within those more walls. Amidst a Minneapolis Target mall looting during George Floyd, protests back in 2020, a woman in a wheelchair named Jennifer faced chaotic accusations. Videos hint at her blocking an exit, confronted by people shouting about a knife. A man sprays her with a fire extinguisher. The crowd cheers. Unverified theories swirl online, framing her as elderly and disabled. Troll posts distort captions, triggering racist responses. Gypsy Rose comparisons arise, suggesting she can walk. The woman's identity and age remain unverified. It turns out the woman was apparently trying to stop the target looters while wielding a knife. In a chilling mall incident, a homeless man wields a hammer, creating chaos in the goods section. Panic ensues as security urges everyone to flee. The man's unsettling actions hint at a mental health struggle. The aftermath? Uncertain. Yet his disruptive move might shift his fate from homelessness to incarceration. Still, amidst the confusion, it becomes clear he might be strategically turning his life around. Is he making a bold move to trade homelessness for prison, securing food and shelter? In a chaotic scene, a man named Kane throws tantrums over a beer can. Reports suggest he exposed himself to a minor, leading to an attempt to stir chaos. The police, silent on the exposure claim, hint at possible mental health issues. The video hints at a troubled incident, leaving viewers to unravel the details. Check this out, there's a crazy video going around online showing folks looting Walmart back in 2020, probably during the George Floyd protests. Can you believe it? It's like some people took the protest as an opportunity for some wild shopping spree. Oh. <laughs> also, this video was making the rounds. A guy goes wild in a mall, 
knocking down shelves and causing drama. Panic sets in, and the security team rushes to calm things down, telling everyone to get out of the way. But you know what's surprising? The star of the day isn't some strong security guard. It's just an ordinary shopper who steps forward, delivering a knockout punch to the troublemaker. The excitement builds as more shoppers join in, teaming up to bring order back to the mall in a surprising show of bravery. An ordinary day at the mall. Suddenly, chaos erupts. A man crashes his car into a store, his troubled history unfolding. Previous assaults raised eyebrows and a mysterious termination. His frustration explodes onto the products. What led him to this point? It's not just a random incident. There's a hidden toxicity lurking in the Walmart establishment. This Walmart right here, I'm taking y'all down. All y'all police, y'all sit at the middle of the night. Y'all too, y'all In this video, a woman is standing over two others, and it's clear they had a disagreement that could have led to a fight. We don't know the full story. Situations like this make you think working or shopping at Walmart is like stepping into a twilight zone, especially considering what happened. Later on, it seems the black woman might have been really upset or exaggerated about the fight. It's unclear what triggered their argument. During the 2020 period, we were all told to wear masks wherever we went. This guy went shopping, and got scolded by many people for not wearing his mask. Put that mask on, yo. I'm just trying to have my stuff on these, bro. Put your mask on. I'm trying to have my stuff on these, bro. Put the mask on. Put the mask on. Can I buy it? He wasn't being stubborn. He was just trying to explain himself. Suddenly, a man came from behind and poured a whole bucket of water on him. Shocked and angry, the guy left them all. Put your mask on. That's all you gotta do. Just outside Walmart, chaos erupts as a woman on a bicycle accuses a family of having her car. Get your out of my way! Get your out of my way! Get your out of my way! Surrounded by five, six people, the family faces threats and violence, bikes, kicks, and even a gun gesture. Determined to escape, the driver speeds off, confronting more assailants on a motorcycle in another car. For me. The ordeal spans two miles, ending at Fred Myers, where the family confronts the aggressors and notes their license plate. As they drove off, the police showed up, and the rest is history. Bikes. I can't see anything. They're using bikes to hit my car. They're trying to open my doors. I got two kids in the car with me. At Walmart again, a woman's erratic actions raise concern. She disrupts the store, chanting, Black Lives Matter, while displaying inappropriate behavior. A glimpse into possible mental health challenges unfolds, leaving viewers questioning the perplexing situation. In a routine Walmart visit, a man's day takes a dark turn. Seemingly triggered, his anger disrupts the store's peace. Management calls the police as his aggression intensifies. Arrest becomes inevitable. The scuffle unfolds, resistance, restraint, and finally, he's bundled into a police vehicle. The incident leaves viewers intrigued, wondering about the events leading to this dramatic arrest. In the bustling chaos of Walmart, a dramatic showdown unfolds. 
Tensions rise as a lady confronts a customer, escalating to the point where she brandishes a pan, threatening imminent chaos. Police swiftly intervene, turning a routine shopping trip into a Walmart saga, teetering on the edge of mayhem. In a Walmart mall, disaster strikes. The aftermath suggests looting, but a closer look reveals a chaotic scene caused by flooding. The once orderly aisles now reflect the havoc wreaked by nature, leaving a mess in its wake. An uproarious scene unfolds at Walmart. A daring individual cruises through the mall on a roaring street bike. <laughs> Laughter echoes as onlookers witness the unexpected spectacle. Amid the noise, the audacious rider navigates the aisles, creating a moment both amusing and perplexing. Only in New Iberia. Only in New Iberia. <laughs> in a busy Walmart, something intense is happening. <laughs> the video hints at a top-notch response to a shoplifting incident, but we believe it's more serious due to the many police officers at the mall. In the end, the suspect got arrested, but we're not sure about the details. In this video, we encounter a guy who's pretty out of it at the store, making for a hilarious moment as he tries to use his card for payments. In this video, the mall condition screams, break the windows and loot Walmart. We're investigating an incident from 2021, where a bunch of people in a neighborhood were stealing a lot of stuff from a Walmart store. This raises concerns about whether the police were involved or not. From what we've seen, no one from the company or the criminals has been arrested yet. It's just evidence of the looting. Imagine being on minimum wage in the US right now, and suddenly, a random TikTok kid comes and creates a mess that you're left cleaning up. In this video, a group of kids tries to buy milk at Walmart. They attempt a dramatic act, tripping and causing the milk to spill on the floor. Okay, that's the main thing, are you okay? You gotta get the milk! One starts screaming, then the next, and the next. It seems like provocative behavior. They might get away with it. This seems really painful. A guy in the mall gets so mad at a staff member that, while angrily throwing an empty cart, he accidentally almost injured himself. Karma comes at him fast as he gets his head stuck in it. It's not just surprising how he got stuck, but also that the cart didn't topple over with all his weight on one side. In this situation, this lady's behavior is like that of someone who reacts strongly when things don't go her way or when someone offers constructive feedback. It turns out her outburst was triggered because she wasn't permitted to jump ahead in line. As they were getting ready to leave the store, they noticed a line at the checkout where people were waiting to make payments. This woman, for personal reasons, really wanted to skip the line. However, 
the man standing in front of her was not willing to let her cut in. This led to a bit of a scene, with the woman trying to create some drama as if something terrible had happened to her. On a tense day in Walmart, the scene unfolds like a nail-biting movie. It's May 26, 2023, and officers rush to the self-checkout in response to a potential theft. The footage reveals a woman accused of skip-scanning items. I mean, at this point, that's... That means Attention. My, my criteria is, like, concealing or storing in a way... Okay, so we're good. Now. All right, we can get that. In the heat of the moment, officers try to explain, pointing fingers at skip-scanning as the reason for detaining her. But she stands firm, passionately declaring her innocence and insisting she has money to pay. The tension builds, her pleas falling on deaf ears. Okay. Things take a wild turn as the woman accuses the officers of aggression and misuse of power. She refuses to show ID and vows to press charges, challenging the legitimacy of her detainment. The officers, unyielding, drop the bomb of a shoplifting arrest, citing skip scanning as evidence. And there's no reason to you for you to be that aggressive. I'm sorry if you have problems at home, but I ain't it. Amidst the chaos, the woman demands proof from the video footage as a form of evidence of her act, but the officers proceed with a pat-down. She fights back, claiming her belongings were left at the register, yet she's escorted to the patrol car. She was eventually arrested. At a Walmart, a man causes a commotion by causing drama while mostly undressed. People wonder if he has mental health issues or a secret reason for his behavior. Everyone, what the f What the f Oh my god! What really? the f can I get outside security? As the situation escalates, he hides in a refrigerator with only some clothes on. Walmart staff rush to figure out what to do, what will happen next. He eventually comes out of the fridge and gets ready to run away, leaving everyone puzzled. All this made us start questioning what made him act this way. In the heart of New York, a clash unfolded in a bustling mall. Two black ladies and other shoppers collided in a shopping spree that turned into chaos. The tension escalated, drawing the attention of the police. As they arrived, the scene became a spectacle, with the black ladies at the center of the storm. The footage reveals their voices rising, creating a narrative of some customers attacking each other. Walk out to the car and we're going to figure this out. You're just being detained at this point. What's the one detaining you for? Right now, harassment. Watch who I The one that got spanked with me. Because they jumped my sister just... Police attempts to arrest them intensify, but the ladies respond with dramatic resistance, kicking up turmoil in the mall. This situation leaves us wondering who is telling the truth. In a Las Vegas Walmart, an ordinary day took a mysterious turn. A customer discreetly filmed a bizarre scene unfolding. A woman, fueled by an unknown rage, causing chaos with noisy outbursts and tossing items recklessly. As the TikTok video circulated, whispers of her unsettling behavior echoed. Screaming at unsuspecting passers-by, the atmosphere thickened with tension. Damn, she throwing shit. She is tripping up in here. She is tripping. Subsequent videos hinted at a resolution. Our investigation uncovered her arrest. Yet the enigma lingered, casting shadows on the accuracy of the unfolding drama, a mystery in the aisles of Walmart. You want to go to jail for a long time? Just get hungry. I dare you! No, <laughs> don't, no. It was just another interesting day in a Walmart mall. Chaos erupted as the fire alarm blared. Amidst fleeing crowds, one man stood out. I just say Walmart! <laughs> Instead of panic, he pulled out his phone, a mischievous smile playing on his lips. Drawing near the flames, he didn't flee. He recorded. But in a twist, he grabbed a fire extinguisher, not for show, but to quell the inferno. Yo, it's a mother fire in the Walmart. Yo, they ain't got no uh, a fire extinguisher. Laughter mixed with relief echoed as he comically played the hero, turning a dire situation into a TikTok moment. 
a quirky tale unfolded at Walmart where humor met unexpected heroism. Bro, these just tripping. It's a whole fire extinguisher right here, bro. Bro, these just tripping. What the are they running for? It's a whole fire As the man strolled through Walmart, enjoying his day, little did he know a storm was brewing. A young employee passed by, catching the man's attention. Suddenly, the man's gaze fixated on the employee's sagging trousers. Come on. Don't touch him. Come on. A perplexed expression crossed his face, and without warning, the unexpected unfolded. The video captures the tension, questioning why one would lay hands on a stranger over a mere wardrobe choice. Two siblings set out for a shopping spree, but chaos unfolds as police confront them. The video kicks off with a tense scene officers attempting to arrest the young boys. Yet what captivates us while watching the footage is the unexpected reactions from onlookers vehemently opposing the arrest. As the situation escalates, gasps fill the air when a controversial restraint method is employed. The crowd erupts, urging caution. The intensity peaks as the police move to escort the suspect, leaving viewers anxious about the fate of the siblings and the mystery behind calls to their parents. Hey, take your head. Don't get on his neck. Hey, broke his phone. On a normal day at Walmart, chaos erupts as a young kid hurls items to the ground, targeting an elderly lady. The scene unfolds in a flurry of disbelief and anger as onlookers rush to intervene. I come to Walmart and I'm in Lewisburg, it is always something popping off. Now, I don't know what's wrong with, oh my God. Despite their pleas, the kid persists while the elderly woman remains calm. The tension builds as more people join in to defend the elderly woman, but she silences them all with a mysterious power. Yes. Oh my God. The last time I don't hear a damn car came through the through the door. And now this little girl in here tearing up and her grandparents let her What unfolds next will leave you shocked and questioning everything. Oh! Imagine this, you stroll out to find your car wrecked, caught in the chaos between a suspect and a cop. Look at this Oh my God, that woman that got caught still in that Walmart. What the That was the case for a white car that was parked in an unfolding drama. Unknown reasons led the officer to capture the suspect at a Walmart. The suspect, refusing surrender, violently collides with the police car, creating pandemonium. In a daring escape, he crashes into a parked citizen's car. Hey, get out of the, car. the chaos intensifies as the suspect flees, leaving the cop in hot pursuit. The question lingers. Did justice prevail or did the suspect slip away? The aftermath holds the answer, building anticipation for the resolution. <laughs> In a store, chaos erupted as flames danced behind oblivious customers. The shrill alarm pierced the air, urging everyone to flee. But here's the twist. Instead of panic, an eerie nonchalance hung in the atmosphere. People, seemingly indifferent, continued browsing their I don't care attitude on full display. The juxtaposition of danger and disregard painted a comically absurd scene. Evacuation warnings had been issued, yet the shoppers remained engrossed, unknowingly starring in their oblivious comedy amid the unfolding chaos. A devoted Christian woman ignited a peculiar drama. Shopping peacefully turned into chaos when she, fervently invoking Jesus Christ, demanded people move. Really? With suspense lingering, she refused to budge until finding the perfect purchase. 
picture the absurdity as she shouted in the mall, leaving everyone wondering, why couldn't she peacefully choose without the spectacle? The answer unfolds in this unexpected tale of a shopping spree turned dramatic, proving that even the most mundane moments can surprise us with twists. Stay off this aisle until I can buy something. Have respect for Jesus Christ's saints! I not get off this aisle until I can buy something. Check this out. It's one of the craziest things you'll see today. A lady hilariously acts out after being accused of stealing at the mall. Ah, call the f police! I don't give a f I'm above the law! Her reaction is so funny, almost like someone acting wild. She even says she doesn't care if the police are called on her. A woman in night pajamas triggers a tense scene in the mall. Paranoia flickers in her eyes, disrupting the peaceful vibe. An altercation unfolds, shrouded in mystery. She's accused of shoplifting, but there's more to this story than we might be aware of. As tension rises, she's asked to leave, leaving us curious. What did she take? Why is she so distressed? The narrative weaves a web of intrigue. The situation escalated when a woman in question started throwing things and touching mall staff, the mall security tried to stay calm. We were unsure what happened next, but mall authorities called the police for help. In the busy North Attleboro Walmart, a normal shopping trip turns into an exciting story. Imagine this. In the aisles, two shopping carts bump into each other, leading to a big argument. Stand it right there. You didn't say excuse me. You don't know who the f you're dealing with. You don't. You didn't say a thing because I was standing. Listen. It starts with angry words, claims of being rude, and a man asking for an apology because he thinks someone was disrespectful to his wife. As the talk goes on, feelings get stronger. The upset man sticks to his point, saying there's not enough politeness in the busy store. Hidden threats come up, hinting that the person causing the trouble doesn't realize how serious it is. You will have a short life. You don't know who I am. Don't be a tough guy. I wasn't trying to be a tough guy. No, listen, this is my old lady. The conversation gets more heated, showing there's a history between the two. The upset man questions the other person's awareness, making the atmosphere intense. The words used start to sound threatening, demanding respect and hinting at possible payback. You respect her, respect her, because then you apologize now because I come after you get in your face. The situation ends with a strong and justified feeling. The upset party is happy to have received an apology after the argument. In the busy city mall, there was tension as a man and his girlfriend shopped. Little did they know, a watchful mall employee sensed something was wrong. I told you he was following us. Man, that, yo, can I get a manager, please? Can I get a manager, please? I need a manager, yo. Without them realizing it, they were being followed. The man, annoyed by the employee's sharp eyes, was about to get angry. Then suddenly things got dramatic. The manager showed up and revealed a surprising twist. Anybody get insulted to, bro? You been following me, bro? You been following me, bro? Stop following me, bro? Hey, stop following me, bro? It turns out the man was caught trying to steal something, and he cleverly shifted the focus by criticizing the employee. It was a suspenseful moment with unexpected turns that kept everyone on edge. Excuse me, sir. I need to speak to. Can I speak to a manager, please? Can I speak to a manager, please? A manager? Yo, that be fighting. This all day. In a Walmart store, people were walking around, and there was a small fire at the Durango sales area. Freaking Durango. Only in Durango. Help! Holy shit. Help! Yeah, let's go. Dude, get out of here. Yeah. Um. Surprisingly, the person recording the video didn't take it seriously and joked around. They didn't know how dangerous it was. In less than two minutes, things can get worse. Hey, can you? <laughs> okay. 
over here. No one took it seriously, and time passed. Then, a brave worker came with a fire extinguisher to stop it. This isn't just a story. It shows how quickly bad things can happen. Watch as a security officer calmly deals with a challenging situation involving an elderly man at the mall. Oh, shut the f man. You're the f Make your f Despite heated words, the officer remains composed and avoids using force. The video suggests a previous conflict where mall rules were broken. As the elderly troublemaker is escorted away, you can't help but admire the officer's restraint and emotional control. This unsung hero, a former Marine now working at Walmart, showcases the depth of character hidden behind a seemingly ordinary security uniform. I'll be your execution. Now I'm not to prosecute the boy. Put your feet on me again, boy. Who put your hands up? In a busy Sam's Club in Huntsville, Alabama, two employees suddenly get into a heated argument. The reason for their fight is unknown, making the situation even more interesting. In the Bright store, a bigger employee aggressively chases a smaller one, both shouting and creating a tense atmosphere. Quickly, the smaller employee changed direction and headed towards his car, attempting to escape the persistent pursuit of the bigger employee. The argument gets worse, with teasing and mean words filling the store. Bad language adds to the angry feeling as the bigger worker accuses, the smaller one, of putting his job at risk. Things get even crazier as they start chasing each other around the store, catching the eyes of customers and other workers. People feel strong emotions as they watch a tense and exciting moment happening right in front of them. Everyone was eager to know more about the intense situation. In the middle of the mall, things get intense as a couple argues with a mysterious woman. Our video catches the tension, but the couple gets upset when she records. Washington, we don't have COVID. You just came way. at me. You just rushed me. Can Go you get the, She just rushed at me and she recording me. Can you get her away? It turned chaotic with loud claims, and they even tried to get Walmart employees to kick her out. You mean that against the mall? Get too. away from me. Stop recording me. I'll break wow. the I got that one on. Oh, I got that. Stop recording us. Funny enough, they accuse her of recording, but there are lots of cameras everywhere in the mall. Okay, we're getting food. We're trying to leave. Go that way. You call those and everything else. Go that way. However, we're still wondering how that situation unfolded. Now, there's a video of a cop dealing with a woman in a mall. We don't know why she's in trouble, but she lays down and resists arrest, and it looks like she ends up peeing herself. In 2020, when things were really tough, especially for black communities in the US, there was a virus that messed up the George Floyd protest movement. Some unknown people ended up looting malls. Look at this. Every grocery store looks like this. Every grocery store looks like this. This video, recorded by a saddened black woman, raises awareness about individuals who hijacked the movement by looting, tarnishing its reputation. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the store. Look at this. She talks about how, just a few months ago, things were scarce. And now, because of the looting, she can't afford to buy things and food for her kids at home. Look at all this on the floor. Everything. Everything's on the floor. Tissue. We couldn't even find tissue less than two months ago. Amid all the commotion, a phone recorded a big argument at Walmart. It started over people cutting in line, and things got intense. 
Breaking the rules led to a showdown. A woman and a man clashed, pushing things to the limit. Out of nowhere, a frying pan was used as a weapon, barely missing someone. The police showed up, turning a regular shopping trip into a chaotic scene. Watch closely as tempers flare and surprising twists in this unplanned drama at your go-to store. You stay over there. 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 This happened in the busy aisles of Walmart, where a routine shopping experience takes an unexpected turn. In the shopper's account, a glitch in the payment system requires assistance after successfully paying for items. Anna, the floor manager, steps in to enter crucial information. However, the glitch persists and the receipt appears blank. For pointing out your fault. You're the one who screwed up. Call the police, you have my item. Attempting to flag down Anna amidst her busy schedule proves futile, so the shopper seeks help from Gary, the greeter. An innocent request to inform Anna about the malfunction quickly escalates into an absurd confrontation. Gary questions the legitimacy of the purchase, grabs hold of the cart, and creates a scene. I was walking out and I showed him it's not working. What? Call the police. I'm done. Call the police. Despite Anna confirming payment, Gary's insistence makes things worse. The shopper feels frustrated under unnecessary scrutiny, surrounded by judgmental stares. A heated exchange reveals the absurdity and unnecessary power struggle. Tension peaks when Elle intervenes emotionally, demanding the shopper leave without their paid-for items. Defiantly, the shopper asserts their right to take what they rightfully bought, while Ella adamantly refuses. Call the police. I need my stuff. I already paid for this. I already paid for this. The argument that follows makes us wonder about who's in charge, why things are misunderstood, and how strange it is that a regular trip to the store can suddenly become a big mess of blame and confusion. At the Walmart checkout, a phone captures an unexpected scene. A man in line stirs things up, his emotions creating a mysterious tension. We can't quite figure out why, but it's clear that something intense is happening. Yeah, walk your sister ass away too. The bitch, this, ain't, this ain't nothing, this ain't nothing. You, huh, or huh, walk. Huh? None of y'all. As the guy passionately states his point, the video catches the intense vibe. Suddenly he leaves, and we're left wondering, what caused this Walmart meltdown? The answer is still unknown, making this moment even more interesting. The video focuses on something amusing, how he makes his point and quickly leaves, rather than the drama. It's like a sneak peek into a story that hasn't fully played out yet. In 2020, some friends went to Walmart for important stuff without realizing the danger. They didn't wear masks and recorded the day on their phone, not knowing about the upcoming trouble. While they were in the store, an older couple noticed them and looked worried and upset. As the video plays, the couple speaks aggressively and passionately, adding a serious tone. It's not just a typical moment. Their friends, initially thinking it's an overreaction, soon understand there's more to the situation than they initially thought. The young guys filming the video thought it was just another Karen acting a bit too pushy. The lady's words cut through the chit-chat, sharing a serious truth. She knew people who died from this. Her words made everyone realize the gravity of the situation. The video takes an unexpected turn, challenging preconceived notions and leaving the friends and viewers with a somber realization. Oh my gosh, dude. Are you kidding? See an exciting story unfold as a phone camera unveils a hidden world, exposing people involved in a mysterious dance of criminal activities. Ah! 
The culprits, mostly young people, create chaos in a store. What motivates them to loot and engage in this reckless behavior? In Walmart, things got crazy. A really angry woman started yelling at a staff member and someone recorded it on a phone. It felt like a suspenseful movie. The tension was high, but then a security guard saved the day by protecting the staff. The video tells the story of why the woman was so mad and how the guard stepped in to help. Since we're not sure why the woman is upset, it might have seemed like something that could be discussed in a more grown-up way. Imagine if both parties had a mature perspective. The problem might have been resolved. In a quiet Walmart supercenter in Beaver Creek, Ohio, chaos unfolded as shoppers faced a sudden and terrifying threat. News outlets buzzed with reports of a gunman whose motives were shrouded in mystery, turning a routine shopping day into a nightmare. If you guys know anybody, visit Beaver Creek Walmart right now. I'll call and check on your people. It's literally just shopping. Amid the flashing lights of police cars, the unfolding drama remained unclear. Did the assailant kill anyone? Details were scarce adding an eerie sense of uncertainty to the situation. As the city of Beaver Creek grappled with the shock, whispers of a suicide added a chilling layer to the narrative. If you guys know anybody that's in Walmart right now, call and check on them because he shot like 10 times and I don't even know how much more afterwards. Witnesses, shaken by the traumatic event, recounted their harrowing experiences. A woman, innocently preparing for Thanksgiving, found herself in the crossfire sharing a bone-chilling video of the assailant strolling past her with an assault rifle. Oh, my sister, and I'm like, that's weird. They got another person on a gurney. Is that him? I see two, three of them going out. How does this even... The aftermath revealed at least one fatality, while three victims fought for their lives in a nearby trauma center. The community anxiously awaited more information, clinging to the hope that the threat had passed. In a busy Walmart, a video taken on a phone shows an angry woman getting really upset and being aggressive towards the store staff. It's not clear why she's so mad, but it's intense. In this situation, lots of people wearing masks witnessed a conflict that started over something small, most likely about money. The woman, not wearing a mask and visibly upset, gets angrier possibly because of a problem with Walmart's return policy, cash services, or a mistaken transaction. As she gets angrier, she starts making scary threats about getting a gun and hurting two people. Instead of raising a valid issue, her sudden violent threats make us really worried. In the middle of all the chaos, the lady's scary words include direct threats of using a gun to hurt someone. The seriousness of her threatening words makes us wonder about possible legal consequences, and one can only hope that law enforcement intervenes to address this alarming situation. One regular day of shopping took a surprising turn at a Walmart in Eureka, California. On March 26, 2020, things got really bad when an upset shopper angrily confronted a cashier during the 2020 outbreak. Yes, move her out the way, please. We got kids and babies over here. While the cashier was scanning her things, the woman said he charged her too much and things got really bad quickly. The video starts with the angry shopper coughing and spitting at the cashier, using a lot of bad words. Other people in the store are shocked and worried. Then a manager comes and tells the upset woman to leave, but she gets even angrier. She ends up coughing and spitting on the cashier, which is really not okay. The cashier stays calm and says he's going to call the police. Despite
Despite the cashier's attempt to handle the situation calmly, the police are eventually summoned. Later, the woman is escorted off the premises. The incident comes after a woman who coughed on groceries, forcing the Pennsylvania supermarket to throw out $35,000 worth of food, was arrested and charged with four felonies, including terrorist threats. In this video, there's a lady in her mid-40s at Walmart, not following the mask rule. It gets intense as she clashes with a Walmart employee. She's with a man who helps calm things down, dragging her away to leave the store. In this video, a family of six is in Walmart without wearing masks. When a Walmart employee asks them to put on masks, the father refuses, saying it's a free world and that Walmart used to be less strict when he worked there before, expressing his disappointment with the current rules. The workers tried to tell him that the rules changed because of the current situation, and they asked him to follow the new rules. Upset about feeling mistreated, he told his family to leave the store. In the video, we see a woman at the mall getting upset with how she's treated. It seems like all the workers want her to go. We hear her saying that she's always treated poorly at the mall. Apparently, we don't know why she's annoyed. Maybe she's mistaken, or perhaps she's the one causing the issue. She's not going to. Well, she is you know what? You're, you're, you're really making You should really. Really? You should Eric, you, you know what? I'm making a scene because I was treated like a... In this video, a Walmart employee wrongly accuses a woman of stealing. The woman remains calm after finishing her shopping and is about to leave the store. Oh, the lion isn't on the receipt. Yeah. Okay, you can record me all you want. That's Good, just, let's go. Let's go to my office then. Come on, let's go. Follow me. What? Let's Before she exits, the employee falsely accuses her of theft. She insists on her innocence and allows him to search her. Despite realizing his mistake, the employee does not apologize. Can you go to the office, please? I'm going, and don't treat me like a criminal because I'm not. Never sold anything in my 45 years, thank you. Instead, he continues to act as if she is stealing but decides to let her go without taking any action, possibly worried about losing his job. Idiot! You piece of This is the last time I'll be at your store. Okay. This shit's going all over the news. Yeah, your face a little red, you feel a little On a regular Wednesday, December 9th, 2021, chaos broke out at Walmart on Greenacres Road around 4 p.m. It started as a usual day, but quickly turned into something extraordinary. Fire Chief Eugene O'Brien the two received an urgent call about a disaster unfolding. The Valley Stream Volunteer Fire Department rushed to respond to a gas odor call, unaware that they were heading into a crisis. The unfolding drama began on the roof, surrounded by mystery. At the location, firefighters found a rebellious air conditioner on fire. Tension rose as they carefully worked on the risky rooftop. Imagine courageous firefighters armed with water extinguishers, fighting the flames step by step. <laughs> Meanwhile, someone recording the video initially thought the fire would be quickly put out. The situation took an unexpected twist, adding more suspense to the unfolding drama. Lastly, there's a video of a deer entering a mall, encountering a bit of trouble that creates tension. The deer came in, exploring on its own, but the first challenge was slipping on the floor because its hooves lacked the moisture needed for the tiled surface. In the struggle to leave without harming people and dealing with the fear around, it had a hard time finding its way out. Oh, no. 
Oh my god.